All right, last day of seventh grade math assessment practice. Please take out your pencils, paper, and calculator. You'll have 60 seconds for each question. If you're ready, begin. Mr. Wilt prepares chicken wings for a picnic based on the bar graph which of these statements is true I read the statements try to match them to what the information says Mr. Wilt prepares two more plain wings than hot wings so I'm going to compare plain versus hot so I go over here find plain and it says that he's made 18 plain and hot 16. Um, the good news about this question is the very first statement happens to be true. If it was me taking an assessment, I would circle my answer or bubble that in and I would be done. Just to confirm that B and C and D are wrong, Mr. Wilt prepares twice as many plain wings as hot wings. Well, if that was the case, it'd have to be 18 versus 9 down here, and that's not true, so that one's gone. Mr. Wilt prepares two more barbecue wings than garlic. So looking at barbecue, we got 12 versus garlic, 8. That's four more, so the statement C is false. Mr. Wilt prepares twice as many barbecue wings as garlic wings. Um, again, this would have to be 6 down here, which it's not. You're just reading the number that it stops on here and that's how you solve that problem. Next question, 60 seconds, ready, begin. Which model represents negative 5 plus 2? Um, each one of these line plots is unique. Um, as we read these, this is going to say negative 2 plus 5. So how it works is whatever comes first is the, that's I'm going backwards 2, so that's the negative 2, and then I'm going to the right 5 or so that's incorrect. So A is gone. B, the very first thing they write is we've gone backwards 5. That's represented by a negative 5. And then we're going forward towards the positive side by 2. So I'm adding 2 here. And that looks like it matches what we were given. So I think it's choice B. Um, just to double check, we go back 5 and then back 2 more. So this would be negative 5 minus 2. And here we go um, back five, but the problem is we can't put it over here. Um, 
if we're doing the addition problem, we need to end. This is actually ends at negative 3, and that's another thing here that ends at negative 3. This ends way out at positive 2, so that is incorrect. So the choice is B. Next question, 60 seconds, ready, go. a microwave oven on sale for 20% off the regular price which is known as the sale price so the sale price is $250 what is the regular price of the microwave oven here's the issue we need to figure out what was the price of the microwave before they took the discount um, we don't know that price what we do know is that the sale price is 250 so we took 20 percent off of some number to get to 250 dollars so if we think of our original price as x and we x is 100 percent so we're going to set up a little proportion here we know the sale price is 250 now here's the tricky part we paid 80 percent of the original price so the original price 100 percent of some dollar amount the sale price is 80 percent so we're going to put that 80 down here so what we've done is set up a proportion cross multiply 80x equals it's going to be a pretty big number here 25,000 Grab your calculator, 25,000 divided by 80 comes up to X equaling $312.50. Now, when I get through with this, I go, does that answer make sense? If I had a $312.50 microwave and I took off 20%, would it get me down to $250? There's an easy way to check. If I take that 31250 times 0 0.2, I should get 6250. And the significance behind that, 6250, is if I take the 312 and subtract 6250, I'm back to that $250 price. I know I did it right. There may be other methods, but that is the method we went with today. Here we go, 60 seconds.
Enrique weighs five pounds more than twice Brendan's weight. If their total weight is 215 pounds, how much does Enrique weigh? Um, tricky question. Um, we don't know how much Enrique weighs. We don't know how much Brendan weighs, but we do know that Brendan plus Enrique equals 215. So if Brendan was 100, for instance, Enrique would be 115. There is some more information, and it's going to help us solve this. So that is not correct. We can use algebra to help us solve it. So I'm going to read it carefully. Um, Brendan, if we called Brendan X, X is an unknown number, right? I call Brendan X because if we look at Enrique, he weighs five pounds more than twice Brendan's weight. So Brendan is X, Enrique weighs two times more than Brendan, or 2x, plus 5 pounds. So x can represent Enrique, or sorry, is Brendan, this is Enrique. We know that combined they have to equal 215 pounds. So algebra can solve this, because if we just add all that together, we get 3x, see there's three x's here, plus 5, equals 215. If you solve for x, so do a little algebra, subtract 5, you get 210 equals 3x, divide both sides by 3, you're going to find that x equals 70. And you go, well, 70 is not a choice. 70 is x, or Brendan's weight. Remember, Enrique weighs twice as much plus 5 pounds. So if we plug in that 70 here, 2 times 70 plus 5 equals the 145. The double check is if we add these two together, we get 215 pounds, which is what we're supposed to. So the choice is B. Next question. 60 seconds. Ready? Go. An airplane flies 29,154 miles per month. About how many miles in total will the plane fly in 54 months? It's sort of an estimate problem. Really, we're just looking at if we take 29,154 miles in one month, how many does it fly in 54 months? So really you're just multiplying times 54 months better grab your calculator 29,154 times 54 gives me here's what the calculator says 1574316 you know I'm looking at which one's the closest estimate so that is about 1.5 million or choice B. Next question, 60 seconds, ready, begin.
what is the value of B in this case? So we're looking for the angle here. The only thing you have to know is that the entire angle here always is 180 degrees when we're talking about the entire angle. So if we know one, if we know this 80, then we know that this one, whatever it is, has to add up to 180. So pretty simple. It's a 100 degree angle. When you add them together, you get 180. All right, 60 seconds. Ready, set, go. All right, how much money did the soccer team raise during September? Um, to read a line plot, first we look here, we go soccer team, they're green, okay. So we follow the green line. In April, they made $100. And down here in May, they made 70 June, 20 July, 40 August, 80 September, $10 choice D it looks like the soccer team needs to get out and knock on some doors because they didn't make very much money in September last question guys 60 seconds begin All right, the product of what number and nine is one? You know, if it was me, I'd just, if I didn't know, I'd go, all right, negative nine times nine equals negative 81. That's not my choice. Zero times nine equals zero. That's not my choice. I'm gonna skip the right answer. One times nine equals nine that's not my choice. When I multiply 1 ninth times 9, I get 9 over 9, which simplifies to 1. My choice is C.